There are five main kinds of heat illness, starting from the least to the most severe. The least serious is heat rash. This generally occurs under clothing and manifests itself in red blister-like eruptions that will itch like crazy. To treat it, allow the skin to dry by removing the offending clothes and rest a while in a cool location. The next most severe illness is heat cramps in the arms and legs. It can feel like you're getting a charley horse. It hurts like gangbusters. There's no way of hiding the symptom from fellow workers. Watch your buddy for abnormal body posture or grasping the affected area. Get yourself or your buddy to a cool place to rest. They should drink water or a heavily diluted sports beverage. If the cramping is especially severe or does not go away, seek medical attention. Fainting is the next type of heat illness. This most happens when the person is not used to working in hot environments. Of course, any type of fainting is dangerous in many work situations. If the person falls and sustains bodily injuries, those injuries need to be treated, plus cooling the person with a portable mister or sprayed with water. If they regain consciousness, and are alert, they can drink small amounts of water. If they don't need to be taken to a medical center, your co-worker can rest in a cool location until they recover enough to return to work or go home as appropriate. Heat exhaustion is a serious illness and help must be immediate. Untreated heat exhaustion may progress to heat stroke, which may be fatal. The symptoms for either may develop quickly or over several consecutive days of working in hot temperatures. Be aware of these symptoms. Weakness, fatigue, headache, blurred vision, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, high pulse rate, extreme sweating, pale face or a red face, unsteady gait and clammy and moist skin with normal or just slightly elevated temperature. If you or your co-worker has any of these symptoms, there are steps to take to relieve the symptoms. If it is you, immediately move to a cooler shaded area to rest and if possible lay down, or help your co-worker to do this. Whatever you do, don't leave a co-worker alone, but send someone to get your supervisor or a person trained and certified in first aid. Loosen and remove heavy clothing that doesn't allow their sweat to evaporate. Spray the person with a cool mist or apply a wet cloth to their skin and fan the person. If they start to shiver, stop the cooling. If they're alert and not nauseated, give them fluids to drink a little at a time. If you or your co-worker aren't feeling better in 15 minutes, tell your supervisor. Keep yourself or your co-worker cool, rested, and taking liquids. And don't let the person who is suffering from heat exhaustion go back to work. The heavy protective clothing added to the firefighter's problem. But if the conditions are right, you can be overcome with heat exhaustion wearing a t-shirt. During hot weather, be alert to the symptoms, in yourself and in others. Get the victim to a cool area and help them cool off. Never leave them alone and notify your supervisor. But if the person is suffering from heat stroke, they need immediate attention because seconds count. How does a layman know when it is heat stroke when the symptoms are almost identical with heat exhaustion? The main difference is their mental confusion or disorientation in all heat stroke victims. You can ask them three questions. What is your name? What day is this? 
and where are we? If the victim can't answer these questions, assume the worst. Immediately call for emergency help and notify your supervisor. While waiting for help to arrive, start working to cool the person with whatever means you have. Don't be timid about it. Put them in a tub of cool water or in a cool shower or spray them with cool water from a garden hose or a mister. If none of these measures are available, have the person lie down with their feet elevated and sponge the person with cool water. Apply ice packs under their arms and to the groin area and fan them. If they are alert and not feeling sick to their stomach, give them sips of cool water. Never give fluid to an unconscious person. A person suffering from heat stroke is in a critical condition. If the ambulance is delayed for any reason, it's a good idea to call the hospital emergency room and ask for further instructions. This victim is very fortunate to have friends like you who know what to do and do it.